Hello. It's um, June the 15th of 2022. And I want to look at this dark plasma energy on the sun. And because um, it's wild. It's like it's living. It really is. I, I could have done this from my computer. But if I can zoom up close like this on my phone... It might look a tad bit better. Maybe if I can get it at the... I'm trying to get a good um, color. Is what I'm trying to get a good color to zoom up on this plasma. Because it looks so like living is what it looks like on the sun. You can see all of this plasma... It's wild, you all. It really is wild, and it really is um, one of the things I like to look at. I've, I've got to try to get my different glasses on if I can find them. Hello there. Um, just give me one moment to open up this other glass case. I'm on my um, iPhone. I'm going to put on my different glasses. Can you all hear me? Um, I hope you can hear me. Let me try to turn this up. Okay, we got it turned up. You won't see me on here because I've, I've got this in landscape mode so that we can look at this plasma. Let me try to see if I can just scoot back and put my feet up, you all, and um, look at this and relax because this is like um, one of my favorite uh, products on the iswa.gsfc.nasa.gov. This one right here, it really does, it looks like living energy. Ciao. Yes, you are. Good, good evening. You know, sometimes in this right here, you can see ships. Let's look at it. Doesn't it look wild? It looks so wild. This is like the, the most activity is occurring. It's like a bunch of snakes, and I don't mean any disrespect you all. It reminds me of a bunch of, um, I don't know, snakes at times, and the way that they move and stuff, but it's just like, um, I believe that they're living. I really do. I believe that these are a life form. And some may not agree, but I really do. I feel that these are life forms on the sun. And I also think that there are ships inside of um, some of these and they're enormous they are enormous it is a lot of activity and if we were to shrink it down some you see um, more of it that's my hand in the way look at that doesn't that look wild that's the um, ISWA it's the um, it's the SDOAIA, SDOAIA 171 on June the 15th. Look at it. It is, um, it's pretty wild to say the least. I would have got on my studio and did a, a live stream like that but I haven't done one like this for a long time and I haven't had time to um set and look at this you all because this is really like up and close with this sun let me see if I can shrink it down some more let me see if I can kind of shrink it down a little bit more just a little bit so you can um, see it. 
I've got it going 300 frames and also 20 frames to see if you can see it more. And um, if you didn't know, I think I'm being shadow banned again. <laughs> I think I got in trouble with my last video that I did. My last live video, it, I might have stepped on some toes. Um, I really might have. And um, yeah, that's right. Well, there is uh, a lot of negative energy. Uh, there's an excessive amount um, of some uh, negative energy, but I, I try not to focus on it because, you know, we can't focus on it. We've got to keep going in this life. We really do. Um, we've, we've come too far to turn back, and there's too much to gain to lose. Okay, there is way too much to gain to lose uh, in minnesota the sun seems white yes lawrence it is so white the sun is extremely white you all um i wanted to show this yeah i like yesterday when i was driving home um, in the western sky, I thought, I cannot even look at that sky if I could take a picture of it because it was extremely, extremely white. Total white, and you can't look at it when it's like that. I thought, hello, Apple Brooks. I thought, you know, if I had some sunglasses, I could shade myself, but oftentimes sunglasses aren't even enough either. Uh, they're not sunglasses aren't even enough at times to shade our eyes to keep our eyes from um, all that now see this is not what we see we don't see this sun in the sky right here no sorry we don't I'm, you know, I'm trying to shrink this down we see a totally uh, different sun is what we see and we know it's not normal it's not normal it burns it burns people it burns the plants. It burns the plants in your gardens, and they dry up. Um, it's like you have to water them a lot, lot more than normal. And, you know, you may find yourself drinking a lot more water. Um, hello, Susan B. A whole lot of more water than you normally do because of the sun. And I really i am just going to say it. It's not this sun that we're seeing up there. Um, there's no way. It's it's a, a different type of sun in front of it is what it seems like, a totally different type of sun. When we were little, we saw like, um, the sun kind of looked yellow, but then back then they told us, don't look at the sun. See, doesn't that look wild? They say, don't look at the sun, it'll hurt your eyes. And don't stay out in the sun because it's not good for you. It looks really, um, I, I like this product because I like the colors right here, the yellow and the black on this uh, particular product. Um, yeah. What wavelength? I have no idea what you're talking about. Wavelength, I really don't. Um, all I know is I'm just, um, I've got my iPhone here, and I'm zooming up on the sun, is what I'm doing. Look at that up the top. Look how those bands like that from that coronal hole. And I wonder why and like some of the products, you can't really see the ships that come out. There were some that came out of the, um, one of the stereo UVs. I think it was uh, Stereo Ahead 171. Some black ships came out 
or dark ships came out, like a, a whole, probably around 15 or 20, but then they're three days behind uh, of today, three days behind or four, and I'm thinking, why you got to be so far behind, you know? And really, is this sun as is just is it a ball of fire? Is it or is it? Um, is it got some depth in it and some life <coughs> in it? You all, does it got some of that? See, because that looks kind of wild. You see that white that's showing up? I bet it's a ship. I'm not able to slow it down. I wish NASA had on this website, I wish they had the um, option to slow down their videos. I think you can slow them down, but you have to only do maybe three frames instead of 20. But you don't get the whole picture when, when you do that. You don't get all the frames in there. You really don't. What is that thing doing? Looked like some kind of a light came down from that area. Right there. It's like so much movement in there. That Those could even be ships deep inside... Um, that sun, they really could be. They could be ships. Look at the bumps. The bumps all over it. Uh, there's a lot of bumps. So much movement. Um, a lot of movement. Um, oh, if I want to, um, slow this down, oh, I'll have to record it and then put it in my, um, one of my programs and slow it down significantly. I was just saying, while going there live like I am right now, filming this in live time, um, the NASA product don't have the option. But I have the option if I want to slow it down, but you wouldn't be looking at it slowed down right now since I'm over here on that iswa.gsfc and theirs isn't slowed down. So, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, you all. Theirs is not slowed down at all. Hello, Julie. What is that? Um, oh, Jenny Fields. Jenny Fields. I think something's over here in this spot, too, because this is not... Um, doesn't look like a normal solar thing coming out. It really doesn't. It, it may look like it at times, but on the different products, it looks um, totally different. One time when I um, had slowed this down and I took a whole bunch of screenshots and I, I worked uh, some of the photos, there were big long ships in the top of the sun. See like that white thing? I think that was a ship too. There's like in the top of the sun, there's ships um, that are all up here. It's like an atmosphere. It's like the sky up here at the top of the sun and there are long ships. At first I thought they were like um, beings, but when I, I worked photos, they were ships up here in the top of the sun and they, they launched themselves. 
they come and go and they're constant flurry of movement uh, up here in this area on the sun. Constant. Hello, love is eternal. Love really is eternal. And I hope this is all right, you all, because I haven't done this in a long time. It's snowing in Mexico. Wow. That would be uh, really um, neat to see. It makes me want to get out on a inner tube. And if it is a good snow, just slide on an inner tube down the hill in the snow since it's so hot. That would be just lovely right now. It really would. It would be fun as long as I, you know, it's a good place to slide down. <laughs> as long as it's a good place, you are, is what I got to say. Yeah. Or just make an igloo. That would be fun right now, making an igloo uh, in the cold. E Lady Ellie. Yeah. There's um, stark uh, plasma filament like entities. I spent probably over an hour and a half putting um, little uh, fencing with the little bitty squares to keep out rabbits, cutting pieces to put underneath a shed because a groundhog was coming out. It would go under the shed, come out, and as if it doesn't have enough food to eat, it was eating the plants in the pots on the ground. Uh, and granted, we got all kinds of nice, pretty green grass and clovers and all kinds of stuff that it can eat on. It decided to eat my daughter's plants. So I thought, oh, you gotta be kidding. So I had to seal up all the edges underneath the shed, just like a little um, 12 by I don't know, 10, but still you are in this humidity. It's like I was dripping sweat, <laughs> but I got it done because I don't want them to eat up our plants. They got plenty of food, you all, they do. Um, they love it when the apples get on the trees too because they can climb the trees. They got their own family here. They, they multiply. It's like a animal habitat. It's like a sanctuary for all kinds of animals here. And um, some birds that, you know, there's not very many of, they're able to um, nest in certain areas and, yeah, multiply. So has the chipmunk colony, too. <laughs> That's okay, you all. It really is okay. If the chipmunks want to multiply, they're cute to watch. They are. But it's not cute to watch the um, groundhogs crawling under the shed, coming out of the shed, and feeling they got to eat plants when they got all that nice grass, all different types of grass to eat. Yeah. The observatories, what was that observatories where they saw the entities? Somebody saw entities somewhere at an observatory? Um... That's interesting, you all. It really is. Hello. Thank you all for um, joining. I'm just using my my cell phone to zoom up on this uh, product. I could have did a live stream, but I thought, no, I'm too lazy. I just want to get my laptop out and hold the phone like this and see if we could, like, zoom up and see some movement on the sun. It's not normally like this. You don't normally get a lot of this dark plasma filaments, beings, energy. 
it's only at certain times, and I wonder if it's near the times of like, are we having a oopsie, Gina, honey? See, ain't that pretty? That's my screensaver right there. This right here's my screensaver. Neutron star. Boom. Yeah. Actually, it's my background on my computer. On all of my computers. See, this area right here, I think that there is a long ship uh, inside that area. And I wonder if when it's slowed down, or you could like get a screenshot, it's right here toward the bottom part of this plasma is um, Diamond Honey. What's up? The, the sun. The sun is up in the sky. Now, whether it be the sun that we grew up with is a totally different story, but it's up there in the sky. See, don't they look like they're living? They, they look like just a whole bunch of energy. Just moving around. I wouldn't want it to be a bunch of spirits, dark spirits. I really wouldn't. Uh, that wouldn't be very nice. But what could I do about it? Not a thing. Oh, yeah, we are looking at the sun. Susan, honey, thank you. If you are just tuning in, this is the... um. The SDOAIA 171 uh, on the iswa.gsfc.nasa.gov. I'm looking at these um, filaments on here. Let's, I think we can zoom up down here. Let's zoom up if we can. See what that thing's doing down there. On the bottom of the sun. If I, I like to try to get it at an angle. That's why I use this phone. If I could try to get a better angle with this down here, you know, without getting the computer screen in it. No, it's too blurry. It doesn't want to come in that well, you all. It doesn't. Let me reckon. Maybe I can. Okay, this is kind of. I just wanted to see what it was doing down there, but it doesn't want to doesn't want to clear up for some strange reason because I want it to that's why life on the Sun is real we know that it is God's um, creation Oh, so it won't lose focus. Okay, yeah. Well, it's... It's always fascinating when I see these beings. It really is. I don't have any, um, negative feeling. I just don't know what they're going to do. Why, why they converge on the sun like this, really why they do, because it's like the whole sun, really. Look at that. The whole sun, it, um, yes. Well, uh, I am going to go, you all. This is like a, a short video. Well, it's not that short. It's like 24. 24 minutes. 
this plasma. Buenas tardes, Susan, honey. Yeah, that's right. So this is what the sun is supposed to look like on the, June the 16th. Um, yeah. There are many different theories on how the sun got here and um, how we got here, how the stars got here, how the planets got here. There's theories that we're in a matrix, um, that we're a simulation. There's all kinds of theories out there. And um, one thing's for certain, this world's got turned upside down. It has. And uh, we gotta have love on the inside of us. We do. Uh, love is uh, the highest vibration. It's uh, the greatest gift, you know, that was ever given. Good evening. You had multiple sons in the past. Um, I heard about that, about um, a system with several sons. Yeah. Yeah, but not the earth. That's right. Well, uh, I am going to go. And so with that being said, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello, from my heart to yours. Love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day, you all. And um, stay safe. Love you. Thank you, uh, moderators.